Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. We're going to do for my Virgos dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. Let's see what's going on with my Virgos as dealing with another earth sign. I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, and all of your subscribes. They're all so, so greatly appreciated. Guys, if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. But also that way I'm able to tug on your energy, okay guys? Please remember, only take what you need. Leave everything else behind. You can always flip and switch the energy however you see fit remember this is a general collective reading all right if you would like a personal reading my website's information is down in the description below that's the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading all right spirit i, I would like to send a special shout out to all my members thank you guys thank you for supporting the channel for all my subscribers guys thank you thank you for joining me all right i do call on the holy spirit I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Show me spirit. Show me what I need to see for my Virgos that's dealing with another earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, and or Capricorn. What's the current situation, spirit? Tower. All right, something very unexpected. Oof, the Tower, King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy at the bottom of the deck. For some of you guys, what's unexpected is that somebody actually loves you, but they don't show you, they don't show their feelings. If you're dealing with another Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this is somebody that actually loves you, but this person was unexpected. This is unexpected for you, unexpected for this person. This person actually loves you. But as the King of Cups, this person doesn't show their emotions. This person hasn't shown this to you. But it's very unexpected. Give me past energy, spirit. The Empress. Mm, that's you. Knowing yourself. Knowing your worth. So in the past, we have the Empress as Gemini Virgo energy. I feel like with you dealing with... I feel like for some of you guys, you had to know your worth in dealing with this person. Put yourself first. I feel like there was a need for you to put yourself first when you were dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. Hmm. We're going to get into that. Give me near future energy, spirit. Give me near future energy. Page of Cups in the reverse. Something that you're wanting, you're not getting. Knight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This person is slowly moving towards you, but they're taking their precious time. This person does love you. You are this person's wish fulfillment with this Ace of Cups and this Nine of Cups. You are this wish fulfillment. But for some of you guys, you're, something that you're waiting on, it is it's not coming in the near future. Give me my Virgo's feelings about this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What is my Virgo's feelings? For some of you guys, the apology that you're waiting for in the near future... Mm, that might take a tad bit that may not come whatever feelings of emotions that you're you're waiting for from this person that just might not come not come when you want it not come the way that you want it show me my virgo's feelings the moon you don't trust this person the moon came out in the reverse cancer energy you feel like this person is secretive. You feel like you don't really know this person. There's something about this person that you don't feel like you can trust. For some of you guys, there's been too many secrets surrounding you and this person. Too many secrets. Show me this person's feelings about my Virgo. Three of Wands, they're waiting for you. Three of Wands, this person is still waiting for you. For some of you guys, this person is con contemplating traveling towards you. Yeah. Show me what's the energy surrounding finances for my Virgo and this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. What's the energy surrounding finances? Wow, so much wants to come out. I feel like 
Three of Swords healing. This is good. This is good energy. Three of Swords is coming out of this fear because I've definitely got for a lot of you guys, it's giving me an energy if you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, like you both could be on a, in a, in like a recovery stage. You both could be healing from like financial hardships. But this is both of you working to heal this. Two of Wands. This is focused. Focused on the future. Focused on recovery. So both of you guys could be on your grind, on your hustle right now, present moment. Give me the energy surrounding family for my Virgo and this Virgo Taurus Capricorn. Give me the energy. Six of Pentacles. So that's a balanced energy. That's a balanced energy for you, this person and family. When it comes to family, like I feel like this would be, this is or this could be something, this this is or could be something balanced. This could be an equal give and take here. There's, there's, there's giving and receiving. So family life would be good with this person. Outside family or inside home family. Show me intimacy. Show me intimacy for my Virgo Taurus. Capricorn. Four of Pentacles. So this is holding on. Ooh, for some of you guys, if you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this person is holding on to you for dear life. I feel like sex is good between you and this person. This person is not wanting to let you go. This person is definitely not wanting to let you go. I'm trying to make all these cards fit. <laughs> What's the advice, spirit? And we're going to get to that. All right. So right now, present moment, I do see that there's a tower. Something unexpected is going to happen or is happening. But the tower is often because of something not built on a solid foundation. Something, there's an upheaval. Something unexpected is, is, is happening right now, present moment. What's this tower for my Virgo dealing with this Virgo Taurus Capricorn? The world. An ending. Closing out cycles. Something unexpected is about to end. Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy. Show me the world. Six of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles is an engagement. An engagement could be ending. Six of Pentacles is someone giving somewhere else. For some of you guys, this person could be ending something else. And it's unexpected. It's definitely unexpected with the Six of Pentacles. This is giving as you're receiving. This is an equal give and take. This is manifesting something new here. Hmm. Show me the Six of Pentacles. Three of Cups, yeah. Whether this be with you or somebody else, there is third party energy here with this Three of Cups. For some of you guys, this could be friends with benefits. This person wants to fight for something, whether it be you or someone else. If you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, there is third party energy here. Whether they want to fight for you or fight for the other person. This person, what's unexpected is this person is closing out cycles. This person is ending something. This person is ending something with you. You could be ending something with this person or this person could be ending something with someone else because they're trying to balance out their life. This could be ending a friendship or ending something third party with you or with someone else. This person is wanting to fight for what it is that they want. This person has been juggling. If you are a younger Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this could be you or this could be this person acting very immature. But moving on to calmer waters with the King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Somebody that they find to be very attractive. This could be you or somebody else. They're leaving somebody out in the cold right now, present moment. They're going to be leaving somebody out in the cold. Whether it be you or someone else. There is someone else involved here. There is someone else involved here. And it's so unexpected. But they are leaving someone else out in the cold. They're leaving you or someone else. Right now, present moment. Show me the Empress. We have the Empress in the past. Four of Swords. Contemplating. Show 
so in the past I feel like if this is your energy or their energy somebody somebody really took a step back to think things through somebody really took a step back to focus on their self in the past whether it be a Virgo Taurus Capricorn this could be you or this could be one of these individuals but somebody truly took a step back to focus on their self to get their self together to heal show me this four of swords show me the four of swords eight of pentacles somebody really and truly was focused on their work in the past somebody took a step back and they started focusing on their work on mastering certain skills somebody in the past was totally focused on their self they had to do this they had to take a step back whether this be you virgo or you or this other virgo taurus capricorn now in the near future we have the page of cups that came out in the reverse show me this page of cups spirit the sun happiness though mm, show me the sun leo energy show me the sun the devil capricorn energy the devil is about obsessiveness the devil is about a little but a lot this is like wanting a taste of something something that makes you happy something that fulfills but with the page of cups that came out in the reverse that page of cups is new emotions new feelings i feel like in the near future it's like somebody is totally fearful they're overjarred fearful show me this because I'm getting such an overwhelming feeling here. King of Swords. Somebody is so. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. With the chariot. But see that page of cups. That page of cups is what's really bothering me. Because I feel like. There's a, there's a lack of action. In the near future. Even though somebody is thinking, I feel like the fear has overcome someone. Even though somebody finds happiness in the situation, I feel like the fear has overcome someone. With the King of Swords, somebody is truly guarded. Somebody is truly guarded. Somebody wants to talk. Somebody wants to communicate. But with the Page of Cups in that reverse, that Page of Cups is telling me that this is giving me an energy of somebody here that is just not quite ready. Somebody that just hasn't really, they're not ready page of cups and that reverse that's that's driving me bonkers because all I'm getting in this energy is something that is overwhelming someone but they're not going to take action because they I don't know if this person truly knows how to to, to handle the emotions that they have it's like this person is scared of hand truly handling the emotions that they're feeling this person is emotionally immature. That's what this is. As I see one, three, three, three on this clock, this person is emotionally immature. This person is scared. For some of you, for some of you guys, this person could have some type of addiction here that they put before. Like this person could be truly focused on something else, and this person is scared of emotions. This person is guarded. This person's been hurt in the past. This person is extremely guarded and this person has been hurt in the past. Now in your feelings, I have the moon here that came out in the reverse cancer energy. Show me the moon. Ten of wands. You don't trust this person. You feel like this person has too much baggage. This person may have too much baggage. There's something here that is hidden from you. You find this person. That's how you're feeling about this person. This person has too much baggage. And you don't trust this person. You don't feel like you don't. Tr you can trust this person. You're, you, this person is hiding their emotions. Or you're hiding your emotions from this person. But you feel like this person has too much baggage. This person is. There's a lack of. This truly it's giving me such an energy of this person there's just no 
there's no emotional fulfillment here. If you're my Virgo, if you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, you're not being emotionally fulfilled by this person. You're not, but I feel like this person is emotionally immature. They don't know how to handle their feelings, their emotions. And my voice is like my eardrums are because I feel like I feel this person's energy actually draining me as I'm saying this. Show me this three of wands. That's their feelings for you. They're waiting. It's like they're waiting for you. Show me this three of wands. Three of wands. Three of wands on the three of wands. <laughs> this person is just stuck. Like this person is just stuck. This person don't know what to do. We got the three of wands on the three of wands. This person is just at a lost. <laughs> like, oh my gosh, this person is just at a lost. Who is this person you are dealing with? This person is just at a loss. Let's let's break this tie. <laughs> Show me this three of wands. Oh, this person has my head swollen. Like I feel like a bubble in my brain. Show me this. Eight of wands. This person wants to talk to you, but this person is not communicating. Gosh, this person is something else. This person wants to talk to you. This person wants to take action, but they're not. See that this person has not left their comfort zone. This person, there's, there's a lack of communication between you and this person. This person wants to talk to you. I feel like this person is waiting for you. I feel like this person is waiting for you to reach out to them. They're waiting for you to take the necessary actions. This person is just stuck in a posture. This person is making my head hurt. <laughs> like, because, ugh. This energy is very significant, very significant. Now, for you guys revolving around money, I feel like you both are on your grind right now, present moment, healing from bad financial hardships previously. Show me this three of swords in the reverse. The lovers, you've made a choice. Okay, I feel like you both... You're both, you both are in recovery mode. I feel like you both are healing from past hardships with finances. That's, that's the energy. But I feel like you're doing, you're, you've made a choice, a very significant choice. And I feel like this is giving me big energy. Like you both are mutually focused on your, on recovering financially, focused on your money, focused on your pentacles. I don't see pentacles here, but I just feel like that's big energy here. That's big energy. Now, when it comes to dealing with family, you have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like you both are balanced with this. Show me the Six of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. You stress out over this in the Fool. Hmm. Actually, I feel like, see, with the nine, of, the nine of Swords that came out in the reverse in the Fool Aries energy, I feel like you both have learned to not allow your family to stress you out. I feel like this is something new. This is new behavior and new actions. I feel like in the past, you both may have put a lot of burdens and responsibilities on you on yourself when dealing with your families. But I feel like you're learning to not allow this to happen. And, and this is new. This is new behavior. This is new energy. Now, in regarding intimacy, we have the fourth pentacle. So if you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, they don't want to let you go because of intimacy. They really like sleeping with you. Show me this four of pentacles. Ten of pentacles, see that? I told you. If you're dealing with a Virgo Taurus Capricorn, this person really, this person doesn't want to let this go because of intimacy. Like, even though this person may be emotionally immature, you're not going to be fulfilled by this person emotionally, but you're definitely going to be fulfilled by this person sexually. Mm-hmm. Ain't that something? <laughs> All right, show me spirit. So for your advice, we have seven of pentacles. You got to put in the work. There's, there's a lot of work to be done. That's your advice. You got to put in the work. You may not get a return on your investment, but you're going to get what you put into it. You may or may not. Show me the seven of pentacles. Show me the seven of pentacles spirit for my Virgo dealing with a Virgo 
Taurus and our Capricorn. Justice. See that? Libra energy. You're going to get what you is whatever you invest in this is what you're going to get back in return. Spirit is saying whatever you invest in this is what you're going to get back in return. Point blank period. Ten of swords. You may choose to walk away from this. Because there's somebody else, man. There's somebody else, and there is. Hmm, you're not. You're. You're just not going to be sure that you want to keep dealing with it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, somebody's going to be heartbroken. Somebody's going to be heartbroken because somebody has to. Somebody has to make a decision between two people. Whether this be you or them. But somebody's going to be heartbroken. I can tell you that. Somebody's going to be heartbroken. All right, my loves. That is what I have for you guys. Love you all. Until next time. Bye, guys.